we so we can answer it. Oh, no. Yeah, we did. yeah well, that was the first one we answered. Go ahead, pick me one. Minus for Chile. Article for one. Who is the mayor of Rockville? Go ahead. Click it. Bridget Newton is the mayor. Touch it. Pick me a category. Only two left, maybe mercifully. Election. No, wait, they're set. the legislatures are still open all the way? The whole thing. Oh my god. Go ahead. Oh God! Oh. Uh, this is a good picture. Did we really not draw legislatures for five? No. But which one was it? Huh? Which one was it? <laughs> it's gonna be that. No. I know we didn't draw that. Okay, this is what I need you to draw. Starting on the nine, Thomas. I don't. Okay, got it. Yeah, got it. Got it. <laughs> you know what I think? I think topless should have been here. This should have been in articles. Know. But go ahead. I don't know. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to do this one. Oh, my. He's so big. Is, is that a third leg? Is this stealing of, of, of affection? Alienation of affection? It's not, oh. but that's not bad based on what he's drawing. This is a really hard one. 15 seconds. <laughs> There's, I, I don't know what you draw, to be honest with you. No, I can't. He's got a Sharpie. He's got a green Sharpie. There's, there's not much. Is it, is it the number of women in legislature? First hand I see. Okay, you really want to try this? Is okay. it subtraction? Probably is, and I, I wouldn't encourage this one because there's no way that somebody could get this right. This is a really bad draw. Stop it! Stop! Stop! Yeah, what, why is this? Why are you still doing? First hand I see. What was the significance that we talked about with Barack Obama in the back half of the semester? Go ahead, you've got it. Barack Obama. Was it the issue where you um, you spoke of the uh, attorney or the general or the uh, attorney justice or uh, what is it called? The attorney general. The attorney general. Uh, do you remember what state? Uh, California. It was of California. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What was it that Barack said about, what was it Kathleen Harris? What did he say about the Attorney General of California? Something along the lines of that she was like the most attractive uh, Attorney General. Of One, two, three, four, five. Basically, he gave her a lot of plaudits, a lot of plaudits ultimately that basically said she does a wonderful job. And oh, by the way, she's the prettiest Attorney General in the country, too. Anything else you can tell me? It's okay. Um, okay. Yeah, this, this became a problem because uh, they felt that this took away from her actual work. Uh, they, they thought he was more object objectifying her as a woman instead of actually like praising her for the work she does. And uh, this became a big problem. Yeah, it did. Even that night when he did it, and he gave the speech, the crowd kind of began to murmur and boo just a little bit. And, and, and he, they took him to task, effectively, is what they had done. And he caught some heat on this, because basically he's objectifying this woman. It was kind of argued, I believe, from the article title that maybe he was a closet sexist for having offered this interpretation. Anything else you want to tell me about this as you climb into second place? Five. Four. He's been known to do this before. To whom? Um, Obama. Yeah. Obama, I guess. Well, yeah, no, he, Obama's him. been known to do it before. To whom? Um, About whom? And I may not be looking for a specific person here. Five, four, three, two, um, uh, yeah. one. Go ahead. I just have a little fun fact. When the mayor came, she said that uh, well, she kind of was against it and didn't understand why so many people were giving Obama flack. But by the end, after we had kind of debated it, she agreed that she could see where there's issues. She that. she did. She felt like in, in the beginning of this that we needed to be get a, we needed to be getting a little bit more thick skinned about things. I believe those were her words. And she had effectively said on this, you know what? I mean, if we're going to give compliments, come on, what are we really doing here? But then by the end, when there was seemingly a large opposition 
addition to this, and maybe this was not the politician in her, because she's not a politician, if you remember, but the elected official in her was kind of maybe tempering some of her, her thoughts on this. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Go ahead, anything else? You, to answer your question, Obama's down to both men and women. Yeah, he has. One, two, three, four, five. Barack has been known to do this about men and women, and some people have argued we're making a mountain out of a molehill kind of a thing. Others have said we're objectifying the woman and really kind of almost belittling her professional characteristics based upon her beauty, her appearance. And, and that's something that a lot of professional people, men and women, are not necessarily keen on. Anything else? Four, three, two, one. I believe I've seen uh, Genesis's hand in this. Well, yeah. this, this, uh, the same issue was with uh, a mayor in a Washington state dressed up in a uh, bikini and part of a calendar. Oh. Yeah, that's right. One, two, three, four, five. There was the mayor that actually dressed in the bikini in, in, for a calendar to raise funds for the firefighters. And you remember what happened to her after she'd done that? She may have got it. I say wrong as a subtraction. Well, why don't you try it? Because we're going out on a limb here. Well, I think she lost her all. She ultimately was recalled because of this, yeah. And, and there was a sense out there that this wouldn't have been an issue had a man done it. There was also a sense it shouldn't have been an issue since she technically did this before she was even the mayor. But the folks there basically said, NIMBY, not in my backyard. I don't want my mayor having done this kind of a thing, even if it was for the right causes. Go ahead, hit the light switch, click it. And if y'all will pick me a category, God, there's not much left. These are our last minutes together. Make them count. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, have it. Um, I know, it really is emotional, our last moments together. I guess elections for two points. Elections for two. Okay, <laughs> legislatures for two. We'll go there. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> go ahead, click it. Free tuition. Y'all have it. You've got it next, Maximilian. In New York. Um, what is it that New York did? That they, they that was the first thing to. Say it. $100,000. Well, what's the key about $100,000? Because you're right, but make sure you say it the right way. Tuition? For, it was uh, based on um, I think that's income how much the parents level. have to make. Like, how much what? I think that's how much the parents have to make. That's what it is. How much the parents had to make. New York State passed, and they're the first state to have done this. They passed free college tuition for basically working class and middle class people. And the idea was, was that the household could not make more than $100,000 this year. So if you made less than $100,000, the state would be able to kick this in ultimately to cover your tuition. Anything else you want to tell me? Um, I don't think that there's an age restriction for this. So I there's not an age restriction for this. So it could be new students or it could be returning students. Four, three. So something about 13th grade. Um, oh, or people are afraid that it would turn into 13th grade and people wouldn't like care. I was afraid of that. <laughs> and, and you know, it, what, what is 13th grade exactly? It's just like. Um, Zoom in. There's not enough value in um, college anymore. <laughs> so, like. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't know that that's what I was talking about, 13th grade. Maximilian, go. It's just that it. I mean. Not having value in college anymore is not necessarily wrong. It's devaluing education by giving it to, but the idea is that if you give it to everyone, the, they won't care as much and they won't pay as much attention to what they're doing. And they'll just be getting it because they kind of have to, which is a problem we already have. That was the sense out there. Was, there was, was, the, the sense was that it would invigorate the problem that was already there. It would, it the was, sense was, was that, OK, people um, are going to just keep going to school because they can, not necessarily because they have a purpose. And if you have people in a room that care versus, versus people in the room that are just going because they qualify, it's going to change around the, the, the way that the classroom works. Anything else you want to tell me? Four, three, two. One, go. I think there's also one aspect of controversy regarding uh, free tuition making taxes go up. There was a sense about that. One, two, tell me more. Um, basically, uh, people who would be receiving free tuition wouldn't be as affected by this because 
I mean, they'd be receiving free tuition as opposed to people who would have to pay for tuition would still be paying taxes, and their taxes would actually eventually go up. Yeah, and then there was somebody, it was Catherine, I don't see her here today, but Catherine the other day was really salty about this, and she said, damn it, you know what? I don't want to have to pay for somebody else to go to school, which is, I think, the point, is, but I don't see her, so I, you know, don't tell her I said this. Anything else you want to tell me? Yeah, also, uh, this, this gave the opportunity for uh, universities and institutions to raise their prices up, just because it, it's, yes, it's money from the... Uh, the states and also they did have a, a, a GPA requirement but they didn't say exactly it what it was. It didn't say exactly what it was but you would have to maintain I think it was 30 hours semester hours a year you'd have to maintain a GPA so you'd have to maintain full-time status you have to maintain a minimum GPA and then ultimately you would have to um, of course you know continue through the context, context of the program. It mentioned in there uh, like I said that anybody could do it so this could be younger people but it also could be adult returning people that in fact had never gone before. Go ahead, tell me more, Haley. The income cap, it's 100000 right now. But right now. It's set to increase to 110000 in yes. 2018 and then 125000 in 2019. And there's also controversy over the fact that so students making $99,000, not like families making $99,000 yeah. a year are going to face a different reality from those making $19,000 Yeah, year. and they came up with, I think, something else. And that, that's kind of a big point there. There is a difference between somebody that is at the upper level of this lower income, if you will, versus people that are going to be at the lower level of the lower income, too. And, and I think they had said in there that they actually invested, what, $8 million for electronic, electronic books? Oh, 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 $8 million for electronic books. And $8 million for electronic textbooks. And I think they also said that it would increase the education budget by how much? $7.5 billion. I think they said a percentage was like 6%. 6.3. Yeah. So yeah, it was about 6% or 6.3. So keep that thought in mind. Anything else? Four, three. Two, one, click it or touch the house oh, if you would. Oh, they've already gone. Oh. Yeah.